Well, hello and welcome to our video on Introduction to Brackets, a code editor for web development and the recommended one for our CIS 72A and B classes for HTML and CSS editing. And in this video, we'll see how to install brackets and how to install extensions to make brackets a better editor for you and get a little used to the interface so that you can start using it. So here are some of the things that make brackets unique and useful for us. First of all, it helps us to be more efficient coders. Saving time is often what we're looking for in an editor and definitely brackets can help us there. Also, we want to be able to write good quality code so brackets can help us make sure our code is valid. And extensions is a way for you to add functionality to brackets. Third parties create these extensions for brackets and then you can add them in to the program through the extension manager which we'll see in a few minutes. Brackets was developed by Adobe originally and uh, distributed by Adobe in their suite of web development products and then they turned it over to the community to continue developing it and so it's got that original backing that kind of gives it some legitimacy. Easy to download, install, and uninstall and we'll see at least the download and install part and it is easy to uninstall as well if you choose not to continue using it and perhaps best of all it is free free to use and no strings attached no malware or anything like that to worry about so let's get started with the download and install of brackets and then we can take a look at the interface and how you would edit documents using it so i'm going to jump into chrome any browser will do and we'll just search Google for brackets and what we'll find is the first entry is for brackets and that's the URL of brackets.io and that is the address to download brackets from brackets.io at the moment of this video being created the current version is 1.10 but you may have a different version and generally there's not huge differences it's pretty stable at this point but you'd always benefit from the latest version. I'm going to go ahead and click on download brackets 1.10 there and then we'll watch and wait as the install is downloaded and it doesn't take too long. It looks like it's ready there and now we can open that and your download process may be a little different in a different browser. Another thing that's good about brackets that I did not mention is that it's available for Mac as well as PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here. This is pretty in, much a no-brainer install. And now we wait for the installation itself to take place. And soon enough, we'll be launching brackets and taking a look at the interface and some of the capabilities of these extensions that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there are three extensions that we're going to take a look at once we get a chance to get inside brackets. And those are called HTML Skeleton, HTML Wrapper, with a W, and Beautify. And all of these will help us be more efficient and produce better code. So those are the three extensions that we'll be looking to add to the basic brackets that's installing now. It is now finished. I'm going to minimize my browser. And we'll go ahead now and look in the start menu. And we should be able to find brackets alphabetically in there. There it is. Let's launch it. When you launch brackets for the first time, it will automatically bring up a kind of a splash screen document. It's basically documentation about brackets, but it's written in HTML, so it kind of comes up as an HTML page. The thing to do here to read about brackets would be to use this live preview button. It gives us an excuse also to show how that feature works. Basically, when you're building a web page, you can click on that. It will open up a browser for you and show your page there so it's a little easier than saving it and trying to go find it and somehow bring it up in your browser it kind of makes the workflow of going back and forth between the editor and the browser a little more easy and here you can see it's it's basically an about brackets guide and you can scroll through and get some information about brackets we'll leave that there for now and normally we'd be creating our own web page perhaps from scratch so I did a file new there and now I would start typing in my HTML if I know what I'm doing I can get that started fairly quickly but it is quite detailed and involved for example the first line is always going to be a doc type with an HTML there that's the first line you don't have to worry about typing this I'm just showing you 
Uh, the next line would typically be an HTML with uh, perhaps a language attribute set perhaps equal to English. And as you can see, these are they're pretty detailed lines of code that I'm writing here. And if there's a faster way to do something and make sure that everything is correct, uh, we'd all like to do it. So uh, let's take a look at the extension manager because there's one of these extensions called HTML Skeleton that I mentioned earlier that can really speed up this initial creation of the basic lines of code that are common to all HTML documents. So I'm going to search for that one here. This extension manager has a couple of different tabs we can use. Uh, you can click on installed and see I don't have any installed currently since I just installed the actual product. It doesn't come with any extensions. You have to uh, search for them and choose the ones you want. So as I mentioned, HTML skeleton would be the one to search for here. It appears down at the bottom of that window. HTML skeleton. I'm going to go ahead and install that one. And this is an easy one to install. It's quick and as soon as you do so, you have visual evidence along this right hand side of the bracket screen that it's there. And so you can go and try to add another one or close and start using it. There are some extensions that you have to close down brackets and relaunch it before that extension is fully functional. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my previously typed by hand lines and I'm going to click on this HTML skeleton because one of the best things about it is that you can just quickly check on basic HTML skeleton click done and it will create for you all of this code which is really nice because it obviously saves a lot of typing and at the same time ensures that it's correct now, you'll notice that I don't have any special color coding going on here to help me make sense out of this. And you'll notice also in the status area at the bottom of brackets, it says text. If you're coding HTML document, you really don't want this to be in text mode because it can't help you with HTML if it doesn't know you're writing an HTML document. So you need to come down here and click on HTML. Now suddenly we get the color coding to match the HTML that we've written. You could also get that automatically if you had just saved this as a .html file. It will automatically switch into that mode. But since we started from scratch, it really had no idea what we were trying to accomplish. So I want to also point out that normally this fifth line, the one thing about the HTML skeleton is it produces this line 5 meta tag that we really don't have a need for. So I'm going to get rid of that one. It's not something we'll see in our documents for our class purposes. So I'm going to go without that one. Everything else it produces is exactly what I would want, except the language needs to be identified as EN for English instead of left blank since it doesn't assume anything about the language you might be using in your document. So now we're going to go and add in a few other extensions that we'll find useful. One of those is called HTML Wrapper with the W, not a musical related extension, and we will install it. It's also quite quick. Uh, that said, we don't get any visual over here on the right. We'll explore that later. I want to get one more, and that's called Beautify. And unfortunately, it doesn't work on the coder. It works on the code. It won't make you any more beautiful, but it will make your code look nicer. So we're going to install that one as well. That one does come with an immediate visual over here. It's kind of a magic wand looking thing. I'm going to go ahead and close now. I think if we go to the edit menu, we will see HTML wrapper. And it's also accessible through the shortcut keys, Control shift e for HTML wrapper. Pretty useful when we get into it later. So with those installed, I would be ready to start typing up some further, let's say I want a heading. Normally in H1 is, uh, and you see this code completion here. Uh, when I want a longer tag, these uh, options can really be helpful to save me typing. Also notice I get the closing tag. I started the H1, it gave me the closing one, put my cursor between them. So if I have a heading I want to type, just a sample heading there, you can see that that's nicely done. If, for example, I had accidentally typed an H2 instead of an H1 to close, or somehow, you know, hit the wrong key somewhere accidentally, I get that color coding of red, and that tells me there's an error. And usually I examine the area, and you can figure out 
what went wrong. So that's nice. And we should save, of course, at some point here. And I'll just save this one on my desktop and call it sample.html. And of course, if I want to go live preview, we should be able to now see our own document in there instead of the original brackets information. I only have an H1 tag that's got any content in it, so there's not much that my page has to offer. Let's look at what Beautify can do. We don't have a whole lot of code, but you can see how the indentation is being done by brackets to try to keep this readable. If, for example, we had a much more messy looking set of tags here, perhaps just kind of tab haphazardly all over the place and not looking very nice. We should put a title in here, by the way. Let's see what Beautify does with one click. Beautify gives me the consistent indentation and spacing to make it look nicer. And I would like for you to use that Beautify tool to always make your code look nicer and easier to read. So when I'm grading it, I can see the consistent formatting that will make it easier to see and grade. Okay, so there are several other extensions that are definitely good to be aware of. I'll just write them here. One is called CSS Lint, so you want to explore that one if you're writing uh, CSS, that is. And another one called Emmet, that is pretty popular. So those are definitely worth looking at. There are many, many others that are also something you'd like to consider. I did a Google search on best bracket extensions, and you can, you can really uh, find some that might suit you. A lot of them are for other languages other than HTML, but the ones that are specifically for HTML or CSS can be really helpful for us. All right, so that concludes our quick exploration of brackets, and hopefully you will find it to be a useful editor for you. Thank you.